it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer, nearly reversed into my bar stool then and fell over. Um, today we've got a beer from Brother Zivic. Is it Zivic? No, oh my goodness me, Brother Tisky. Different brewery, same sort of white with a red writing though. They're very similar in the fact that they've, they, they, they're brandings, white background, red letters. Uh, so this is Tisky Brewery, and this is the Kistjes Zlot Pjense. I mean, it's the Pjense Lager. Now, I, I, that's the best I can describe or pr pronounce this beer. It's in a 500 milliliter bottle. It's 4.9% ABV. I have had a look on the internet. I have had a look at what this style is, only because for me, being British speaking, I'm looking at this and I've got no idea. The only word I can really work out here is lager. So I've done a little bit of research on this beer. This beer turns out to be a a wheat lager with not much hops in it. So is it gonna be a wheat beer? Wheat lager? I don't know. Let's find out. There's the bottle cap. The beer, nice bit of smoke on the bottle of me. Yeah, it's looking like a wheat beer, isn't it? I hedged my bets with a glass. I used like a, a lagerish style glass, but it's tall and thin, so you can probably just about get away with calling it like a, a wheat beer glass if you wanted to. Yeah, this is this is interesting because it's kind of Tisky's version of a of a wheat beer. It's named a lager. Interesting, interesting. Wheat beer, wheat lager. What is it? I'm intrigued. Uh, two finger white head on this one. Good levels of carbonation. I bought this in my local Polish beer shop. Cost me £2.50. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it's not wheat beer. As in... It's not German style vice beer. This is something else. I don't know. I'm still a bit confused. I'm still a bit confused because when you look at a beer like this and you put it to your nose, you can almost imagine, you can almost imagine the banana and the clove. And I think that's what's going on here. I think my imagination's running wild with me here. And I'm thinking maybe like, am I imagining it's a wheat beer? There's only one way to find out. Cheers, everybody. No, it, it's not a wheat beer as such. No. So I'll be honest with you, I've been on Untapped for this review. I've had a little look. I don't understand the language. And how they described this beer was a sweet wheat lager with not much in the way of hops going on. I 
And that's kind of exactly what you're getting. Sweet wheat lager, not much in the way of hops, and they're definitely not using the German yeast strain. So it's almost just like a German wheat beer, but without the German yeast strain to offer up that kind of banana and that clove and the spices. And um, thanks for bearing with me with this review because never really kind of understood what it was and you've had to bear with me with this but I think we, we finally kind of hit the nail on the head with this one. I think the next thing you've got to ask yourself, apart from, I, I haven't really talked about the flavour of ice, it's, it's just wheat-like. Wheat, wheat-like wheat with some biscuity breadiness, a little bit of sweetness. It's not as sweet as I was expecting. It just doesn't have that kind of hot profile to really kind of push this beer through. Do I like it? Yes, that's the, that's what I was getting at. Would I, would I buy this beer again? Do you know what I think I would? <clears throat> it's not a Pilsner. It's not a Hellez. The hops are quite, quite low down in terms of like how hoppy this beer is. The sun's out. Can you hear that? The sun's out and oof, brings out some joys, doesn't it, the sun? Just looking out my front window then. The joys of summer. Back to the beer. Keep your, keep your eyes. Um, nice levels of carbonation. Sweet. Wheaty, would I buy it again? I'd probably buy a bottle. I'd buy a bottle. I, I, I still say I would prefer bitter beers than I prefer sweet beers. I much prefer like a Pilsner or a Helles Lager rather than something sweet like this. It, it, this video, it, it's been a bit of a funny video. I feel like it's, um, I don't feel like I've nailed this review. I'll post it. But I don't feel like this is one of my greatest videos. I feel like I've kind of like been distract distracted with people walking past the window and stuff. And <laughs> not not bad people in this case, you know. Just like sun summer summer sunshine, you know. Oh. Not my greatest review. I'm going to rate it. I'd buy one bottle again, I think. I prefer my pills. I prefer my Hellas. This is a little bit kind of like under hopped for my taste. So I'm going to say six out of ten. Six out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.